everybody welcome to my channel this is miss v here today in this video today i'm gonna show you how i made the cinderella carriage using dollar tree baskets these baskets were so hard to find i could not find another basket y'all remember these baskets that had the three um chains on them i took the chain off already but anyway i realized i already had two baskets i had made a lantern to go outside and by it being almost the end of summer, the lantern, you know, it, it had had its better days. And so I disassembled it. I insert a picture. And you remember the, these are the baskets I've already painted gold, the color I want. But you remember these baskets I already had too. So yay. So I've already painted gold. And as I say, you remember it was hooked to these chains. But they were so hard to find at the Dollar Tree. I went to three different Dollar Trees and could not find one. So I disassembled that arm. Um, lantern that I had outside and I used it so I went ahead and um like I said painted it this gold color and what I'm going to use for the wheels are these um leftover what you call them with your ribbon be on I kept these and I painted each side gold that's going to be the wheels and they already have the little holes in them so, my inspiration, I got my inspiration from a young lady here on YouTube. I can't pronounce her name properly, so I'll link her channel in the description box. And I also got some um, inspiration from Pinterest. But if you watch my channel, you've already seen my um, Cinderella carriage. I did, I made this carriage for a um, tablescape. It was called My Favorite Princess Tablescape. Favorite Dis Disney Princess Tablescape. And I was... Um, doing Cinderella so that's why I made the carriage for the centerpiece so I just wanted to show y'all how I made it in case somebody want to make one for an event or something but anyway I kept these I always keep all my leftover cardboard or anything because I never know when I'm going to use it and I got four of them that I painted gold on each side and so stay tuned I'm going to show you my next step my um I'm going to do mine a little different than the lady who inspired me. You know, I always get the inspiration from them, but I try not to do it exactly the way they do it. Unless I don't have any choice, but I'll be back. The items you're going to need is the two wire baskets, something to use as your wheel, um, these dowels, and what other um, items you're going to use. Because mine is not exactly like hers. I'm just using her um, video for the base. And you know to actually use the um, wire basket. Or well, for my um, wheels, remember I told you I was using the the little spoolie from the from the um, ribbon. And so you're gonna use your four dowels. You're gonna put them just like this. You're gonna glue all four corners. I got my dowels glued together. And now you're going to put a wheel on each end, each one of these ends, whether you glue it down or just have to attach it some type of way. But what I decided to do was, since I have this um, ribbon holder and it already has the hole in the middle, I have filled the hole with some, well, I'm trying to find a good one. Hold on. I have filled the inside with some clay that I had so that the um, dowels will have some to hold on to because I don't want to put that much glue in that hole and I'll come back and show you how your thing looks I got all my um, ribbon holders filled with clay and so you just attach it on there like this that's my wheels and I lost the footage showing you how I um put the ribbon around the basket. All I did was um let me show you. All I did was just wrap this around it. It's the five five one two three four five six rolls of um diamond wrap that you get from the Dollar Tree, and I just wrapped it around. That's it so far, so stay tuned for the end. 
So that's cute. <laughs> I'd be amazed at what I'd be doing. God is good. So. Got to put the little pillow and the little shoe in there. I'm going to have me a Cinderella um, carriage. Stay tuned. Pillow to go in the bottom of the carriage. I went and purchased me some um, satin fabric from Hobby Lobby. And I just cut it in a circle. No particular pattern. It's all crooked, but we're just going to make a little pillow to go in the bottom of the carriage. And what I'm going to use to stuff it is these um, cotton balls. So, I'm going to also have some gold trimming around the pillow. So, I'm not going to stuff it and then tuck it inside out. I'm just going to glue these two together. Back side together. And then this is the satin side. And I'll cut as I need to when I finish gluing these together. And for the inside of the basket, I just kind of eyeballed it. I said it's about three inches. So, that's how I got the measurement. So, I have glued it all the way around and left an opening so I can stuff it right here. And I'm going to put my cotton balls in there. Try to make it look like a pillow. Got me a little pillow. And I'm gonna glue this in down. And then I'm gonna cut the excess off and I'll be back. Okay, I got my little pillow all formed. And now, because I'm all about the princess, I'm gonna glue some of this diamond wrap around the edge so it won't look so plain. And I'll be back. Okay, I got my pillow all done, y'all. Y'all know how to glue diamond wrap. I ain't gonna put y'all through that painful process. But anyway, I just cut four rows from this wrap. And I did two rows in the front and two rows in the back. And that's it. That's the little pillow. Isn't that cute? Cute and simple with a hot glue. Hot glue gun, some diamond wrap, and a little fabric. And some cotton balls. That's my pillow. So now I can put the um carriage together. So, with that one, I'm going to put that in the bottom. Let me get the little slipper. Hold on. Got my little slipper I borrowed from my sister and spray painted. She said she didn't care if I spray painted. So, that's going to be on the inside. And then, this is going to be the top of the carriage. That's why I need to do the pillow first before I put it all together. So I'm going to attach these two together, probably with some zip ties, and I'm going to put some diamond wrap around here, and I'll be back. Couldn't I find my zip ties? They outside in my storage bin. I don't feel like I'm going to get them, so I'm going to use this floral wire to attach them together. They're going to be covered up by the um, diamond wrap anyway. Three pieces of wire. One, two, this is the third one. Twist 
twist them together. And wrap this around. That's all it takes. Now I'm gonna put some of this around <coughs> and I'll be back. I'm back. This is what I decided to do. Isn't that pretty? I was gonna do it. I was gonna just glue it like this. But it didn't I didn't like the way it looked. So I decided to wrap the mm -hmm. diamond wrap around it. It's tedious though. So you just put your glue on and just wrap. So the thing is when you're going in and over these different little areas, you gotta make sure it's flat so it'll look like so it'll look a little better. Pull it tight as you wrap it. Some spots you may have to cut it. Like right here where you're going in between there. Just pull that real tight. Straight down. But otherwise go at an angle. Put it on. Straight down when you get to one of these. Then you can go at Start back going at an angle. Till you get to the next one. See I got that one at the bottom. So you got to pull that one. And push it under there. You gotta make it fit. Make it look like it was made like that. It don't look bad to me. Straight down. Begin an angle. Now I can finish this out. Look at it. It's cute. I'm gonna finish this up and um mold it all the way around to make sure it looks